Hello beautiful, I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I am very excited to talk to you because I'm gonna talk to you about letting things go and giving yourself the permission to let things go. So if there's something in your life that you are ready to leave behind or ready to release in some way, then this message is for you. So let's get started. you guys but for me letting go is a very consistent lesson in my life that's always being brought to my attention and I'm always having to release things like let things go for example and this comes in the ways of people in the ways of um, expectations that I've had in in outcomes of situations I'm always presented with this lesson of how to let things go or giving myself the permission to let those things go. So today I want to speak to you about how you are allowed to leave things behind. You are allowed to identify when things are no longer serving you, whether that's belief systems, whether that's people, whether that's friendships, whether that's outcomes. Oftentimes when we have set ourselves up an expectation of something happening for us in a specific way, we are exercising control and when we're exercising control and things don't seem to be going as planned or as we had wished or as we had hoped for that causes a lot of suffering for us and it can lead to a lot of internal turmoil for example if you are trying to uh, make a relationship work and that relationship isn't working for you it can often lead to a lot of discouragement, a lot of self-judgment, a lot of judgment of other people, potentially even vi villainizing other people and when you can come to recognize that that inner turmoil, that self-suffering that you are causing by trying to control an outcome, you then have the choice to let that thing go, whatever that is. If it's a person, if it's a relationship, whether it's an outcome, all different things in your life. If you can bring yourself to the awareness to understand that you actually have a choice not to feel those things anymore, you have a choice to let things go, you have a choice to recognize your wants as um, the wants that they are, a feel a needing for control. And if you're just willing to let those things go, you can. So I wanted to bring this message to you today because for me personally, I have a difficult time leaving things behind. And more so when it comes to friendships or relationships with people, I very much like to view people in their highest potentials. And then I can often be disappointed when I view someone in a certain way or let's say even put them on a pedestal and I don't see what I was hoping for. And that is myself, like for giving you this example of myself, that's me projecting onto someone something that they're not. And when I can move into a place of accepting, whether let's say like that's a friend or someone in my life that I wanted to wake up let's say spiritually, I think that's a big thing that a lot of us are going through right now, whether we are waking up or have woken up. We want so bad for other people to understand and learn things and see things the way that we see them through our own eyes. But the reality of it, of it is, is that we are all on our own unique journeys and we are all living our own unique lives and we are all on our own perfect paths. No person's path is the same and no person's set of filters on themselves is the same. So we all have these filters based on uh, the ways in which we grew up, the ways in which our parents raised us, the things that happened, the way we internalize things. And no one will ever see life the way that you see it. Likewise, um, the way that you see another individual will never be the way that they fully see themselves or the way that they see you, the way that the, your self-perception is much different than other people's perceptions of you. So I wanted to bring this to your attention, this video of letting things go, because when you can understand that your perception or your projections of what you would like to see happen for you in your life is just a want and a need for you to control, you can leave things behind and I know it's difficult because when we love people, when we care about people, we really just want to hold their hand and bring them with us wherever it is that we're going in life. But you have to trust that we are all on our own path. And the one person who is going to 
walk the path with you is you, is you and your higher self. And by you recognizing that and honoring that for you, doing whatever is best for you and understanding when things aren't serving you or understanding when you are causing your own suffering by attaching when you are grasping or when you're in fear about something and you release that, you feel lifetimes lighter. And I know that it's easier said than done, but the awareness is 90% of the transformation. So it is okay to leave things behind. It is okay if someone disappointed you or didn't act the way that you had hoped they would or didn't say what you wanted them to say. They didn't give you that validation or that acknowledgement that you needed or that outcome that you were hoping for trying to manifest didn't come to fruition. It's okay because trust that on the path rejection of any kind um, in the sense of not receiving an outcome that you wanted or a manifestation that you wanted the illusion of rejection it's just a redirection it's just directing you back to your own path it's not so much about you pulling other people into your life and your experience the way that you want them to be it's understanding that the only person who you have control over in the sense of your own thoughts is yourself you can't control the thoughts of another person. You can't control the decisions of another person. And the more and more that you try and that you grasp for that, it causes a lot of self-suffering. And it's also not fair to the other person who is just trying to walk their own path as well. We all are going through different things. We're all healing in different ways. And it's okay to leave things behind that no longer serve you. I know for me personally, uh, going through even something like becoming vegan and wanting to tell everyone about that at first uh, and not having it be received in a positive way. I mean, <laughs> I remember I wanted everyone to be vegan when I first found out because I like, wow, this feels so wonderful and I feel so much love making these healthier choices and my body feels so much better, but people will only change when uh, they feel empowered within themselves, not because someone told them to. And in that way too, it's okay to leave behind those expectations. It's always okay to leave things behind. So, if this is the message that you needed to hear today, I would love it if you could let me know down in the comments, but just trust that you are on your perfect path and with awareness, you can release the things that are causing those suffering. You can let things go and trust that everyone is on their perfect path. Just consciously move yourself back into that place of love and trust and you will live a much more powerfully positive, abundant life, one that is in flow. Because when we're grasping, if, imagine we are floating down a river and we want things to go a certain way, we want people to respond to us in a certain way, we want them to come into our lives, we want them to love us, we want this, we want that. That's us grasping at all these branches, trying so hard to control the way of the river when really, if we just let go, we would be flown much more uh, faster into a, a powerful positive momentum of where we're supposed to be going. So just recognize the different energies that you're moving through when it comes to attachment and letting go, attachment and letting go. Recognize, you know, is this attachment serving me or is it causing that internal suffering? And then ask yourself, can I let this go? Oftentimes when I feel these emotions arise, whether it's grasping, wanting someone to, to validate me in a certain way, I ask myself, can I be in acceptance that I may not receive this? And oftentimes, like just by asking myself that question and saying, yes, I, I can, I can. I acknowledge my emotions and in that way I feel lighter. I can let go because the ego tries to grasp on things and it's uncomfortable, but it does create this illusion that, you know, if we don't get what we want, we might die. It literally tries to, uh, tries to create that illusion for us. When really when we can recognize it's just an illusion and we have the power of choice, we have the ultimate freedom. So. If there's something that you're looking to let go of in your life, a person, an outcome, a manifestation that yeah, didn't happen the way that you wanted it to, anything like that, just know that you have the power to make a choice to release that, to just be in a place of acceptance. And with acceptance, you'll naturally be much happier. So I love you so much, and uh, I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.